Go short. I'm short. I have, um... What's that syndrome? Uh, that, uh... That one guy, Napoleon. Didn't Napoleon have, like, a uh, short man syndrome or something? Goddamn Napoleon. Alrighty, I think that's good. Alright, guys, so we're gonna check out, um... Joe Rogan spreading right-wing conspiracy theories that basically got Fox News sued. So this is the same stuff that got Tucker Carlson like kicked off of Fox News and Fox News basically like picking somebody else and paying the lawsuits. So And had Jim Gaffigan on his show. Um, and uh, I mean, that's not really relevant, except that's just the other voice that you're hearing here. He's like, yeah, yeah. False flag. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he tries to push back slightly. I can't I can't put this on Gaffigan. Yeah, um, Gaffigan, oh, of course. He, Gaffigan gets yeah. a pass. He gets, yeah. he gets the... Uh, yeah, I really like Jim Gaffigan, guys. He's a really cool comedian. I like his whole bit about Pop-Tarts or whatever. Or Hot Pockets. It was Hot Pockets. He made a bit about Hot Pockets. It was pretty funny. Um, Hot Pocket Pass. <laughs> I, can't, I just, I can't imagine, like, watching Joe Rogan's show. It's just, like, so inconsistent. It's just, like, he has three types of guests on, like, yeah. comedians you remember from Netflix comedy specials from like 10 years ago not no shade you know they're all good comedians like who doesn't love Bill Burr uh like insane people just like mm -hmm. literally like just literal people who come on and go like I think vaccines are poison and then like every so often he'll have one like Neil deGrasse Tyson yeah. right yeah yeah but no that's the thing is like it's so depressing that this guy has been uh basically uh elevated to squat the intersection of like um masculinity and curiosity yes and and so like people be like oh yeah we hear all this interesting stuff like neil grass tyson yeah like dude i used to watch joe rogan back in the day so much and it's so depressing the way he's turned man because he got me joe rogan got me to care about your body and all that and he also got me to like science more he, he got me to like ai and conspiracies and other shit and just to see him turn into like an old ass boomer I know that's boomer that believes everything, bro. Like, it's so depressing. Cause you know, we even have that one soundbite. It's like, oh, why does it lie? You know what I mean? And it's like, he is such a goofball, bro. He's such a fucking goofball, and I hate it. Um, where is my? Where the fuck is my uh soundboard at? I mean, I have this soundboard. Bunch of bitch ass culeros. I don't have no time to sit in a fucking chair. <laughs> Bunch of bitch ass culeros. Man, f all of you guys with your bitch ass chair. Yo, I hate my chair. I need a better chair. You're like uh, the quiet one. I'm not quiet. I never be caught being quiet. Uh... In fact, I'm always loud. Check it. Uh... Uh... <laughs> oh god it's installing what the fuck what happened dude it, it, it better have all my info in there no no i'm the local one in this game <laughs> i'm the local one but just remember, guys, everything in this stream is satire. All, All content. content is satire. Yes. All content is satire. Just remember that. But let's keep going, guys, while I set up the uh, voice mods. Oh, my God, dude. I better not have to log in and all this shit all over again. Oh. Uh.
boy smart you're ruining my fucking yeah but you also hear smart. three hours of like douglas murray and all these other like freaks that are preoccupied with like wokeness yeah. and stuff like that yeah but you know you could also just like read stuff about astrophysics or watch stuff specifically that's, about that. but that's harder it's yeah what he does is he provides like these kinds of um people who nominally have credentials right and then you can list them but when you dig deep they're just all Stop um so providing smart. counter narratives meaning it's pseudoscience um, yeah he lets his audience pretend they're intellectually curious just by like watching his show and then, I mean, all those three guest examples, though, that you list, Brandon, are kind of better oh, alternatives than lot. him just going freestyle like he does here, because it got him, I think, in a little bit of hot water when he said that or claimed to have uh, personal uh, exp uh, someone he knows personally tell him about l kitty box uh, kitty uh, litter boxes in schools oh. and children identifying as cats which ended up like getting him a little bit in trouble with his spotify corporate overlords because like that's just made up um and this also might get him in trouble this is him talking about January 6th, and specifically, he references Ray Epps, who is currently suing Fox News oh. for defamation for making claims like this. Yeah, I think the January 6th thing is pretty bad. Well, the January 6th thing is bad, but also but the intelligence agencies were involved. In this is actually such a distilled essence of what Rogan's purpose is now. Mm -hmm. It's to like, people have like accurate conclusions, like January 6th is bad. Yeah, bro, but you know what? Actually, it's like, you know what I would yeah. say if, if I, I was doing this thing about, like, you know, it's like you tell us something, it's like, hey, yeah, bro, climate change is like really terrible, Joe. And like, we're gonna die soon if we don't do so. Yeah, but bro, like, think about it, bro. Think about it, bro. You're living right now. Live in the moment, bro. You know what I mean? He always just has some stupid, dumb shit to say. And it's like, yo, shut the fuck up, Joe. You know what's real? Like, actually, the problem is um, maybe with the FBI and how they didn't act uh, as if, like, there was a BLM protest. <laughs> like, they, they did half the security of, like, a, a, a typical, like, um, protest after a cop yes. kills somebody. <laughs> yeah. If, if you're interested... Oh, go ahead. No, continue. I was gonna say, if you're interested in the FBI and trapping people into crimes they otherwise wouldn't commit, there's a long list of like Muslim teenagers with intellectual disabilities that you right. can go down, which has formed like the basis of all FBI counterterrorism statistics in America for like the past 20 years. Yeah, this century. So, like, or like eco or eco groups, right? Like, you know, they've only become interested in this kind of entrapment now that they imagine it's used against them. They did it in Black Lives Matter protests. We had Trevor Aronson on, a journalist who's documenting this in a podcast that's actually informative called Alphabet Boys. Um, so this is that's the reality of entrapment, as you say, Brandon, like uh, uh, in terms of what the FBI is doing. But let's just go back to the beginning, because I just like the 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 titular butt from um, yeah. from Rogan in response to an uncontroversial statement by uh, his guest. Yeah, and just one more citation before I switch over. Um, I helped destroy people. This is the uh, Terry Albury, the, who was the former FBI agent who whistled blue about how he was just like following Muslims around Minneapolis for the post 9-11 period. Yeah. Right, further I think the January 6th thing is pretty bad. Well, the January 6th thing is bad, but also the But also, bro, think about it, bro. We could like party and shit because like we know that like it wasn't a real like coup de time like bro, think about it, dude. <laughs> Joe Rogan 2023. The intelligence agencies were involved in provoking people to go into the Capitol building. That's a fact. No. Nope. You, so wait a minute. You're you're saying that that guy, like the president, what's his name? Ray Epps. Yeah. You really think that he? I don't was, know. I don't know. But I do know I that every other parent. I think he's gonna. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know, this fake bullshit. Blank, blank, blank. You know what I mean? Joe Rogan's such a dumb fucking stoner bitch. To f Fox. I think every other person who was involved in January 6th, who was involved in coordinating a uh, break in dude. into the Capitol and in instigating His people breaking, they were all arrested. Just this guy gone. wasn't. Not only that, they were defending him in the New York Times, the Washington Post, all these different things, because saying that Fox News is unjustly accused him of instigating well he clearly instigated he yeah, did it on footage, camera everybody. i don't know if he was a fed i know a lot of people think he was a fed the, the people that were sorry, there but we have to pause on that like they, they that like 
one guy instigated all these hogs as opposed to was like just participating in all this stuff like i'm glad that joe rogan and all these guys want to see every last person prosecuted mm. even no matter how much <laughs> they like cooperate with authorities or whatever um but like like that that's just like not Fee- that's just like not a realistic um there are other people who were there on january 6th who haven't been arrested is yep. he accusing them of being a fed right, or is exactly. he just yeah. doing this because like QAnon saw him whispering in one photo and they decided oh let's make an entire conspiracy theory about this guy who was i mean a tucker carlson watching member of the oath keepers who voted for trump twice they t- th- that th- th- the idea that he's some sort of federal agent is hilarious yeah and like this is from the july 13th and again like i don't follow all this stuff super closely but like um uh uh ray apps to be criminally charged for events on january 6th as attorney says an attorney for ray apps manson wearing blah 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 says his client has been informed by federal law enforcement officials that they intend to charge him in connection with events that day so like what are we even talking about yeah go ahead brandon no i mean I, i just think it's amazing that like fox news and a lot of these outlets are clearly crossing a line when it comes to targeting private citizens just for clout and i think it's you know it's sad that we've gotten to this place with online and even mainstream content creation where they feel comfortable targeting private citizens for like internet videos who you know they're still allowed their due process as we're constantly reminded of by by right wingers how important due process is and it's clear that they just feel like there's no conflict consequences for this kind of witch hunt leading even though they will often accuse the left of it of engaging yep. in like cancel culture when stuff like this is the stuff that's cancel clearly culture. gonna get you in trouble with like a civil like me. defamation oh, case like implying me. that someone is yeah. a federal officer implying that somebody has committed a crime or really just saying it like work, online or on your platform and it's clear that i think a lot Biker. of the past think about how many times hassan Piker has been canceled quote-unquote canceled for saying like the 911 thing and like every other fucking thing nobody ever gets really canceled it doesn't really happen unless you're like Alex Jones i guess but even then like think about it he, he still has an audience of people that were like really like you got to be a like a demon if you want to get actually canceled we're going to look at people that should get canceled like uh Pearl Davis etc past five six maybe you know more years online has been concerned with these informal sanctions for like you know essentially harassing people online using your platform and now they're finally starting to bring down like these formal i'm taking alex jones to court i'm taking fox news to court i have the money i'm going to see you in court and it's clear they've never conceived of this as a real possibility outside of just like you know the only consequences for me is that i might lose my channel or have my like account banned for a few yeah. weeks on twitter and it's amazing to see like you know i think online has become way too real for some people well i think the corporate media that owns uh tucker Car- i mean uh, that owns uh joe rogan's program uh, spotify paid 200 million dollars for it might be a little bit upset to hear about this kind of meandering yeah. uh pontificating on rogan's program given the fact that epps's defamation lawsuit against fox seems pretty open and shut yeah i mean let's be clear i have a i have a big heart i'm able to open it up uh and be sympathetic to propagandized trumpers who were misled into the capitol uh to the extent like when i actually am able to care about that uh the people that i uh, blame the sort of positions of authority the um connected to the government people that i blame are for instance donald trump and the co-conspirators mentioned mm-hmm. um that were counted on the insurrection act they looked at these people like fodder and so like i like glenn greenwald can um act with his crocodile tears about ashley babbitt all he wants but Share the truth is shit, ashley guys. babbitt was killed by the people who lied about this election and all these people including glenn cannot be cannot actually be direct about that it's this ooh, you know every every little uh um v- voter restriction could go into uh voter suppression but you know what the liberals are being no man it's all about liberal vibes exactly liberal and, as opposed to substantive and lies those people were and some of them absolutely knew were knew that it was just a pretense but to the extent that you're cared about people propagandize into it you uh to focus on like these peripheral guys instead of the shit, actual man. people at the head of the party uh is uh is i mean not worth taking seriously it should be treated with contempt well yeah and it's also about like you said it's about pointing the finger away from the content creators of variety of platforms who are actually instigating or like doing all you know 
anti-vaxxer propaganda uh and stop the steal propaganda it's about removing the accountability from those people because yes, they're just sharing their views and putting them onto some sort of nebulous deep state that can you know pop up whenever you need a convenient scapegoat like you know if we're looking for people who instigated this like how can you be a bigger instigator yes. than the president of the united states of america nope yeah yeah exactly exactly like, yeah. and they to they exist out. to defend and uh, obscure that and that's why robbie Solav, all these libertarians they exist to protect that let's keep going Justly oh, accused him of instigating. Well, he clearly instigated. He yeah, did it on footage, camera. Right. I don't know if he was a Fed. I know a lot of people think he was a Fed. The people that were there were calling him a Fed. What I do know is when oh, they God. asked the FBI, shit. the FBI said, we can't tell you whether or not there were people that were there that were doing that. Now, there's been reports that there was hundreds of agents that were there <laughs> that were doing that. I don't know if that's true either. They were but I agents. do know that they what do reports? use agents and provocateurs to disrupt peace, peaceful protests. It's a, a common tactic. What they do <laughs> is picture, say if I there's a um, like the World Trade Organization is a great example. That, that was in bro. I think the 90s oh, in like Seattle. And, and so what they did was no, 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 they give were more, uh, Actually, again, chicken shit. This is how you know that this right, guy has this consciousness about who he's appealing to. The most recent example, Jamie, look this up is what I just referenced. The Black Lives Matter protesters. That is proven at this point. Listen to the Alphabet Boys yeah. podcast. Listen to the reporting on that front. They did that. They hire the, the FBI field well, office in Denver. Um, I want to make sure I'm getting the facts right here, but uh, Bradley, if you don't mind looking up the details of that. The FBI field office in Denver was involved in getting this known criminal, um, Mickey whatever, to provoke violence at Black Lives Matter protests. That's exactly true, but he doesn't cite that example because his, his audience is not going to be uh, happy to hear about that. Yeah. Also, those people pipeline. need to be... Yeah, yeah, guys. The FBI and, like, CIA and... Most of the FBI, CIA work outside of the country. The FBI work inside of the country. Um, police, uh, you know what I mean? They, all the time, they will fuck around with protests doesn't matter which side they mostly do it to leftist protests or protests that are centrist or for certain rights or things that they don't like you know what i mean but police usually do support the right wing unless the right wing try to do a coup on the country or like some crazy shit like that which is very rare um but like they do uh initiate you know violence sometimes sometimes they'll throw they'll they'll have someone dress up like a protester and they'll throw like a bottle or a brock or something at a cop and then the cops will initiate um, destruction mode, self uh, fucking uh, search and destroy mode. The cops will initiate search and destroy mode and uh, basically, you know, hurt motherfuckers. Monitored, so it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. The Dakota right. Access Pipeline uh, protester, Red Von Fallis, mm -hmm. um, a gun was planted on her by an FBI informant. Yeah. Um, yeah the FBI who, recruited who Mickey seduced Wendeck, her, right? Who seduced her yeah. and um, oh um, appeared as just a. Uh, so this does happen. That's and fucking this gross. Sort, But this sort of like using Chuck that reality, which off. these people do never, never want to actually wrestle with when it affects the left. They're just fucking completely oblivious about it. Um, to use that to. Um, to excuse and sort of um, uh, obscure the reality that there is a violent reaction in this country, uh, I think is ludicrous. And it's funny because like they'll deny this. This is actually a very interesting thing. They deny like the seriousness of Jan Six. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn Greenwald is out there yesterday saying, "Hey, these people will riot if they don't get what they want." Uh, yeah, we know, Glenn. Yes, that's the seriousness. Okay, so from Bradley, per uh, CBS News here, thank you for looking this up. The FBI recruited Mi Michael Mickey Win uh, Windecker, a violent felon with sexual a sexual assault conviction, and paid him tens of thousands of dollars during the summer of 2020 to pose as a racial justice activist. There we go. So, so uh, let's see. Maybe he'll cite that example. Let's go. What they do is say if there's a, um, like the World Trade Organization is a great example. And that was in, I think, the 90s in Seattle. And so what they did was they were protesting the World Trade Organization. They were doing it peacefully. It was a big problem. So what they did is they sent in, allegedly, Asian provocateurs. They started smashing buildings and yeah. lighting things on fire. Now it's not a peaceful protest. Now they could bring in the police. Now they can start yeah, arresting people. And then they created a no protest zone where literally if you had a pin on your jacket that was the WTO with a red line through it, they would not let you cross. You could not cross with a pin that was against the WTO and, and go to work. There was a no protest. 
But this is what I'm saying, though. Joe Rogan and other conspiracy theorists, theorists like fucking Alex Jones and a lot of right-wingers, they will throw in a little bit of truth, a nugget of truth. And then they'll sell you a big ass burger of lies. You know what I mean? So you got to be careful. They will throw in some facts in their lies. Zone. So they, they, they oh, silenced protest, which is right. a part of our freedom of speech.